Hi everyone. Um, welcome to uh, day five, uh, thirty day lead code challenge. Um, I know I'm two days behind, uh, basically. So got busy with some of the personal stuff, and there is a lot of work uh, stuff going on right now. So I didn't get time to record a video. But uh, yeah, let's not waste any more time and uh, let's get on with it. So the fifth question is. Um, it's what is the best time to buy and sell a stock. So let's say you have, you are provided with an array of stock prices on each day. Um, now you need to find the maximum profit you can make by buying the share and selling it. Um, so they are asking us to find that value. Um, they also made a note that you may not engage in multiple transactions at the same time um that means like i can't buy one share at like let's say this is the cost of all the shares so one share at price one and then another share at price price five to in order to buy a share again i need to um, sell it first so for example in this case they are showing that the profit will be seven because you're gonna buy it when it's cost at one and then you're gonna sell it when it's going to be five so the profit you made is four and then you're gonna buy it again at three and sell it at six so the mm, maximum profit you get is three so you're gonna sum four plus three and you get um, seven similarly in this case uh, you're gonna buy at one and directly sell at five because that's the max profit you can make for in this case we can't because the stock of the price is just decreasing so um, profit seems to be uh, zero mm. so one brute force solution that uh, comes to uh, my mind is obviously I'm gonna try and buy share at each of these prices and then try and sell at all each of the future prices and then try to make a combination uh, which gives me the maximum profit but obviously it's gonna be a recursive brute force and it's gonna give me an exponential time complexity and that's I'm pretty sure that's not what we want uh, because this should be able to we should be able to solve this in um, linear time um, let's look at the uh, approach that we can take let's brainstorm and see uh, if we can figure out a O of 1 for me it seems like a DP problem but um, I think we can solve it in a better approach because DP for sure is gonna take O of N square approach, right? Um, okay, so let's see. Uh, we have the prices listed here. What I will do is in order to clearly visualize, uh, I'll map uh, the prices. So uh, this is my graph, same thing like this. Uh, this is my uh, stock prices here. So seven, if I mark seven here. So this is at seven and then the ma price dips to one, which is it dips here to one. And then let's say it goes back to five, which is here, it dips to three and then it goes to six and then it dips to four um, yeah something like this so this is seven one five three six four okay cool so we have the diagram here um, now in this case they buy at one and then sell it at five and then they buy at three and then sell it at six okay so uh, that means they are covering this region right they cover this then they cover this hmm. mm. let's take another example uh, i'll take okay so this is the increasing order so one two three four five okay cool let me make that as well uh, one two three five okay so if i draw 
it's it's something like this it's at five sorry my bad it starts with one it's at one then goes to two then goes to three then goes to four then goes to five this is one two three so it's a continuously increasing obviously this is kind of a corner case so we need to make sure so i keep on buying this hmm okay so one major observation that we can see because um we can see all the prices of like like let's say if i run a for loop i am at this i i equal to zero i equal to one so i have access to all the future prices as well so in a way if you see i am gonna sell uh at that moment like think 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 okay don't think in a programming way i guess uh this is the approach i think we need for this prog problem think like i have invested a money uh luckily okay that doesn't happen in real world but in this case um you are provided with the future prices as well so so you have okay so if i if i buy a stock at a particular price i know when it's going to increase and when it's going to tip so technically when i know it's going to dip or it's going to decrease obviously uh, a, a sane person is going to sell the stock before it goes down right so nobody wants loss so in this in all the scenarios if you see a this has a rise and fall the person is buying and selling buying the stock when it's at a low price and it's selling the stock when it's just just before it's going to dip because like it's if i sell it at five i know because the next day the price is going to go to three so it's better to buy the share again at dip and then i know there is going to be an increase when six right so technically i keep on making profit as long as it increases so basically if i if i consider uh like if i start if i consider a variable uh let's say um uh, variable profit right right so variable profit is zero at the start of my share uh you know share market and um when I okay, so when I am at initially i equal to zero, or uh, let's say I start on a for loop, i equal to obviously I don't start it from i equal to zero because I don't know if it's a start day, if there's a dip, it's a fall. Let's start from one. So i equal to one, i less than n, i plus plus. Okay, cool. So at this moment, should I buy or should I sell? Uh, because it's a dip, it makes sense to buy. So I'm just gonna buy, right? And then I keep on adding it to my maximum profit till it's increasing. And as soon as I know it's gonna decrease, I just, you know, just sell it. Uh, it's, it's like a, you can say a greedy approach, like buy a stock when it's at the lowest price and then sell it when it's at the highest price, right? So here I'm gonna check if, so I keep making profit till the time my, uh, let's say this is an area uh okay wait. okay so this is an error a so i keep on making profit when i know a of i is greater than a of i minus one like the previous value so i add this difference to my profit variable so profit is equal to a of i minus a of i minus one right and that's it i just keep making profit so in this case let's say uh i am at obviously i'm starting at i equal to one so which is i equal to one here so my two is greater than one correct a of i is greater than one so i add it to my profit because i made a profit of one dollar so yeah add it to my profit variable then next time i is here at three i subtract it with two because that's a previous value okay it's greater i make a profit cool now next time i come to here this place four again this is greater than three i make a profit cool next time i come at five again i make a profit so i keep adding so this is one difference this is one 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 so my max profit comes out to be four similarly in this case i am at initially at i equal to one which is one is obviously less than seven i don't do anything next time my i comes here five is greater than one i make profit like 
I might have bought it at one. Basically, I'm just making profit whenever it goes up. So I add it to the, so this is four. I add it to the four. Next time it's three. I don't do anything. When it's six, okay, let's make profit, right? And it's four, don't do anything. So four plus three is seven. So I guess this involves a simple uh, scenario. I just keep making profit when it's up and I don't consider the cases when it's uh, lost because 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 think like this uh, I'm I'm just trying to uh, because I know the future values it makes sense that when it's a dip I'm buying it when it's a rise I'm so basically just before another fall I'm just selling it. let's say if I had another increase here to eight obviously I would have bought it so this would have been my profit like I would have bought it at this sell it at this it's like uh, you can consider it as a day trading like I know that it's gonna rise, so I wait for the perfect time, I sell it. So I'm just making profit. So um, I think I'll start with one. I less than prices of size, I plus plus, if, uh, if prices of Let's let's run it. Uh, I'm confident it will work. Obviously, it's gonna work for this case because we just saw it. Uh, it should work for the whole scenario as well. Okay, cool. So it worked. So I guess it was a. Basically, it was more of about, uh, you know, clicking. The approach should click. So I think this diagram helped me um, to visualize how my stock prices are varying. So I'm basically, I'm because I know the future values, it makes sense to just consider those cases when I'm just going to rise. So it's when I keep rising, I just add it to my profit. That's it. And, and that's what I did. So i uh, hope you guys like this video please if yes please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to like it thanks everyone